In this lecture here, I want to talk now about how you solve rational inequalities. So if you look back at the previous lecture, I talked about how you solve polynomial inequalities. And it's the same type of basic principle here. So what I want to do is I have some uh, examples picked out uh, that I want to work through. And I'm just going to write the steps of the problems as we go through the examples or the steps to, to solve as we go through the examples. Uh, and that way you can see, you know, probably, you know, how, how we're going to go about solving these. OK, so here's the problem. Solve and graph the solution set for this problem. So we have a rational, rational expression here. We have 2x divided by x plus 1, and it needs to be greater than or equal to 1. OK, so the first thing you're going to do, OK, step 1. set one side equal to zero. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna subtract it over to the other side. So I have two x over x plus one minus one has to be greater than or equal to zero. So all I did was bring this over. Now what you're gonna have to do next, okay? The next thing you're gonna have to do is you're going to have to combine this. Okay, you're going to write, write this as a single rational expression. So the LCD here is uh, x plus 1. So, you know, w watch what happens here. So you get 2x minus x and then minus 1. So you get 2x minus x minus 1 all over x plus 1 greater than or equal to 0. Well, 2x minus x is just x. So you're, just, you're literally left with x minus 1 over x plus 1 has to be greater than or equal to 0. Okay, so this is, this is the expression we are now going to work with. All right. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this expression here, and in step 2, what you need to find is you need to find those boundary values. You know, going back, so what I talked about here is these um, boundary points. So I could just call them boundary vo values, but it's boundary points. Okay, find boundary points. Okay, so the way you do this with a rational expression, so you have this, you have x minus 1, over x plus 1 is greater than or equal to 0. All right. What you're going to do is you're going to set both the numerator equal to 0 and solve. So it's numerator and denominator set equal to 0 and solve. So look, you're going to take x minus 1 is going to be equal to 0. And then you're also going to take x plus 1 and set it equal to 0. So one boundary value is x is equal to 1. And another one is x is equal to minus 1. So now this is what you're going to do. Literally, literally what you're going to do now is the same basic steps before. You're going to take these boundary points, carve up the number line, and then set up those tables of test values Okay, to see to satisfy the inequality. All right, so I've got my boundary, my boundary points here. It's minus one and one. So let me go to the, the, the next slide here. So step three. You're gonna set up the number line with boundary points. All right, so my rational expression, I'll just rewrite it. it. It ended up being x minus 1 over x plus 1 is greater than or equal to 0. So just setting up the number line here, OK? Here's minus 1. Here's 1. So what this means there is there's going to be three intervals that could be possible solutions. You could have negative infinity to negative 1. You could have negative 1 to 1. And then you can have 1 to infinity. OK? And you'll notice this is uh, greater than or equal to. So I'll talk about in the last step how you handle this or show your solution. OK, so then what you're going to do now in step step 4, I'm going to go to the next slide here. 
Okay, so you're gonna set up your 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 number line with the with the boundary points, which we just did. Step four. Use test values to determine solutions. Okay, so the inequality I had was x minus 1 over x plus 1 has to be greater than or equal to 0. So you're going to have your intervals. So you had minus infinity to minus 1. You had minus 1 to 1. And then you had 1 to infinity. So then you're going to pick your test values. So here, just like just pick easy numbers. This is minus 2. I'm going to pick 0. And I'm going to pick 2 in there. OK? And then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to evaluate the rational expression for each test value. So you can treat this, treat, treat this f of x as this rational expression. So like if you take f of negative 2, okay, and you plug negative 2 in here, right? So you're going to get minus 2 minus 1 gets me um, minus 3 over minus 2 plus 1 minus 1. So it gets you 3. So it gets you a positive number because you have a negative divided by a negative. f of 0 f of 0 here, if you plug 0 in here, you get um, minus 1 over 1, which is just minus 1. And then f of 2 here, f of 2, if you take 2 in here, you get 2 minus 1 is 1 over uh, 2 plus 1, so you get 1 third. Okay? So look here, you want this to be greater than, going back, you want to be greater than or equal to 0. So it's this, and it's this. And it's like, boom, we got we got our solutions here. So now step five, your solutions. Okay, so it could be this interval here, but now here's the thing. You actually can't include negative one. Okay, the reason you can't include negative, remember we said whenever you have a great equal sign under, you get a closed bracket. But the reason you can't be negative one is because if you plug negative one in, you get a divide by zero. So it's negative infinity to negative one union. Well, you can actually plug one in, okay? Right? 1 doesn't get a divide by 0, so you get 1 to infinity. So if you were to graph the solution set of this, it would be open bracket and then all the values this way, and then it would be closed bracket and all the values that way. OK, let's, let's try another one. So you can just kind of, so it's, it's the same basic basic procedures here. You see here, the, the only real difference here is in this step here. When you found the boundary points, you, you set the, the denominator, numerator and denominator equal to zero and solve. Okay, so let's solve this one now. So let's solve x plus one divided by x plus three has to be greater than or equal to two. All right, so step one, okay? What you're gonna do is you're gonna bring the two over. All right, now unfortunately here, the common denominator is uh, x plus three. So just be very careful here. You get x plus 1 minus, so minus 2x, and then minus 2 times 3 gets me um, minus 6, all over x plus 3. Well, x minus 2x gets me minus x. 1 minus 6 gets me minus 5 over x plus 3, greater than or equal to 0. All right, so now you need your boundary points.
Well, this is easy. Just take the numerator, set it equal to zero, and then the other one is you take the denominator and set it equal to zero. So here you would add the five over and then divide by um, negative one. So one solution is x is equal to minus five, or one boundary point, excuse me. And here you just subtract the three over and you get negative three. So you have two boundary points, minus five and minus three. So when you go to graph the number line here, you know, here's minus five, here's minus three. So one interval is gonna be minus infinity to minus five. Another interval here is going to be minus five to minus three. And then another interval here is going to be uh, minus three to infinity. So then the same thing, all you're gonna to have to do is set up your table and, and see what you, and you know, see what's, uh, you know, what, that, what intervals satisfy this greater than or equal to zero here. So step four. So this is the, this is the expression we had. We had minus x minus five all over x plus three needs to be greater than or equal to zero. So my intervals were, you had minus infinity to minus five, you had minus five to minus three, and then you had minus three to infinity. So you're gonna pick a test value. So, you know, just pick minus six, and here I'm gonna pick minus four, and in here I'm just gonna pick zero because that's easy to work with. Then you're gonna evaluate the test value in the rational expression. And just to save some a little bit of time early, if you plug negative six into here, you end up getting minus one third. If you plug negative four into here, you end up getting one. Uh, so, you know, what happens here is negative negative four becomes four minus five. Right, so that's minus one, and then minus four plus three is minus one. You get minus one over, over minus one. And if you plug zero in here, you just get minus five thirds. And look, you wanna be greater than or equal to zero. So this is the only interval that works. So our solution, step five. So it's gonna be this interval here. Now, now here's the thing, how you're gonna show this, right? You can plug negative five into this because you will not get a divide by zero. So because it has the equal sign in here, it's negative five. And again, you cannot plug in negative three because then you would get a divide by zero. So you get the open bracket there. So negative five to negative three, you'd have closed bracket to open bracket and then all the values in between. All right, class, so this is how you tackle rational inequalities and you know, all of them kind of follow the same way. You know, there'll be varying levels of difficulty, but you will, you, the approach you'll use to solve it will be this exact same one.